Hello humans, today I'll be teaching you how to manipulate strings and lists by using splicing, split, and join. Splicing is the act of cutting text out of a string. Let's say a couple is getting married. The to-be husband's name is Billy Bally and the to-be wife's name is Sally Snyder. Where I'm from, the wife generally takes the last name of her husband, meaning that the wife's name will become Sally Bally. Our goal is to have wife equal Sally Bally, so let's start with her first name. I'll set wife equal to to be wife. Now, we only want the text Sally, we don't want space Snyder to be included. To do so, I'll type square brackets with 0 colon 5 inside of them. I'll print wife, and running this, you can see that wife is equal to Sally. Just like elements in a list, strings also have indexes. The first letter in Sally Snyder is at index 0, the second letter is at index 1, and so on. These square brackets tell Python that we are cutting out or splicing some of the letters in to be wife. The numbers inside them indicate which letters are going to be kept. We say to start at index 0 and stop before you reach index 5. This means that we are only keeping the text Sally. To get her last name, we need to splice the last name from to be husband. I'll add to be husband and splice letters starting at index 6 and stopping before index 11. Running this, I see Sally Bally print out with no space in between. To add our space back, I'll just add a string that contains only a space and I'll put this between our splices. Running this, we see Sally space Bally. We are effectively splitting our strings in half and taking the first part of to be wife and the second part of to be husband. I'll now show you how to accomplish the same goal by using split instead of splicing. Split is a function that is built into strings in Python. It cuts our string apart and gives us back a list containing all the parts. I'll create husband names and set it equal to to be husband dot split. I want to split Billy Bally at the space between his names, so I'll type a string that just contains a space within splits parentheses. I'll print husband names and running this, you can see that husband names is a list that contains two strings, Billy and Bally. I'll do the same thing with wife names by setting it equal to to be wife that split at spaces. I'll make wife equal to wife names at index zero meaning wife is equal to the first string in the list, wife names. This makes wife equal to the string, Sally. I'll add my empty space and follow this with husband names at index one, meaning we want to add the husband's last name to our wife variable. Running this, I see Sally Bally printout. Split can be used for a lot more than just splitting names apart. Instead of splitting by space, you can split by anything, if I wanted to split by the letter Y, for whatever reason, you can replace the space in the split function with the letter Y. Split and splicing generally accomplish the same task, but sometimes it's faster to use split and other times it's faster to splice. It'll take some experience to get a feel for which is faster, but as a rule of thumb, if you're manipulating just a string or two, splice them. If you are manipulating many strings, use split. Next, we'll talk about join, which does the opposite of split. While split cuts strings into lists, join glues the parts of a list back into a string. I'll create YouTube channel, which is a list that contains three elements, code, for, and humans. My end goal will be to create one string that holds code for humans with a space in between each word. The notation of this is weird, but stick with me. I'll create YouTube channel string and set that equal to the quotes that contain a space dot join. The list I want to join together is YouTube channel, so I'll place that within these parentheses. I'll print YouTube channel string and running this, I see code for humans print out. The string in front of dot join is what we place in between each string within YouTube channel. If I change this to an underscore, then when I run this, I see that an underscore is placed in between every word. Today we learned how to manipulate strings and lists by using splicing, the split function, and the join function. A big thank you for liking, subscribing, and ringing that bell. Comment below with suggestions for future videos, and I will see you in the next one.